Hello, everybody. I'm back. I hope you're all doing well. I hope things have been going great. It's been... Uh, it's been a bit of a time, but it's good to be back. Hang on a second. Mm. I've been uh, getting uh, this stuff. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's just fizzy water. Fancy fizzy water, right? But the can... The, the marketing is freaking brilliant. And, um, this is a flavored one, it's called Mango Chainsaw. And, like, and like there's a lime one called Severed Lime, and it, you, you get the idea. And I love it. It makes me happy. <laughs> it's really kind of funny. So, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing good. Oh, my mic is a little hot, so we're gonna turn that down just a scotch. There we go. All right, wow. I uh, just re uh, I just updated my um, OBS and uh, it's uh, uh, it, it, some of the UI is slightly different. <laughs> I'm like, err, <laughs> okay. So um, it's not horrible. It's just uh, a little different right now, but um, that's okay. Uh, as long as I can see everything, it's fine. <laughs> so. There we go. A little music behind me. Um, yeah, so I had a good, well, good as a relative term. <laughs> it has been a rough week. Uh, my dad has been in the hospital for about a month. And he's finally in a rehab place again. Like, they, he was put in a rehab place, and then um, they had to send him back to the hospital because he was having some sort of issues with something. Uh, mostly muscular, but also, like, there's some drug issues and stuff, too, so, <sighs> it's, it's been, <laughs> it's been quite a thing, so, anyway, um, oh, I need to change this, hang on, so, um, as you can see, I have, uh, uh, uh changed my start time, because, uh, it's just uh, going to be easier for a while to start at 8 o'clock. Um, well, for the time being. Uh, just because... Um, mostly because uh, my mom, like when she goes to the rehab place to visit my dad, she usually doesn't come home until like 6. So, And I make dinner or something, or we eat, or we get something out, whatever. So, yeah, that's that. And it's just, it, it'll just be easier. Besides, I'm, I'm a night owl anyway. I've been kind of up late and whatever. Clockwalket, good to see you. How are you? How's your, how, how are you been? I know it's been a while since I've been on, so how are you? Hope you're doing okay. <sighs> it's been, it's been quite the week. Uh... Yeah, the last couple of weeks have been a bit rough, but uh, I'm doing okay, and I'm doing better, so. Mm, excuse me. Um, so, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm back on to get, do some pomodoros and things, and hopefully get through stuff. Um, I know my visa has not shown up yet, which is really kind of annoying, but... I'm okay, my fiance's bottom surgery starts at 6 a.m. Pacific time tomorrow, so I'm a little- Oh, yeah. Oh. It will- I, I will say that hopefully it will all go well, and I will say- I have, I have my St. La Lazarus candle going, so I will add some- add- 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 add, add, add to my St. Lazarus prayers. Um, because I have- I've been doing that for my wife, and I've been doing it for my dad, so if you don't mind, I can, uh, yeah, I can certainly add her to my St. Lazarus prayers. I light my St. Lazarus candle every day now, so. Yep, I can certainly do that for you. Not a problem. Uh, I will pray that it goes all well and all good. <sighs> Congratulations to them for getting that, too. That's awesome. Whew. Now you just gotta get through it. <laughs> so I feel that it's been a lot. My my, it's been a, there's been a lot of that with my dad this week. 
this weekend especially um he was having a lot of trouble <laughs> um he's been having a lot of trouble sorting out reality <laughs> because um he's has issues with the anesthesia that they had to put him under and they really had to give him a lot of anesthesia to put him under because he had to stay really still so um his transition from the anesthesia has been really rough so and i was like i was feeling really sad and i was just like okay there's got to be something i can do for him because like, they're really outside of just holding the house down and stuff there wasn't really much i felt like i could do and so i made him a charm to for his rehab and i started my saint lazarus candle so so that's what i've been doing mostly and gaming and crocheting snowflakes so if you see my instagram you will see that i have crocheted a number of snowflakes um apparently i have 21 so there i've made my mom 21 snowflakes so far uh, i'm going out to bc on the third which is when she is supposed to get out of hospital oh good 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 very good well then i hope you will have a safe trip as well Although I probably, <laughs> if you if you if you be here all week, uh, I will probably just keep saying that to you until you go. <laughs> uh, my nails feel weird because I have glue all over my nails. Because what I do with the snowflakes is I dip them in a solution of glue and water, and then I pin them out on a board. But like it gives m <laughs> my nails like this light covering of glue, so it's kind of weird. So I'll probably be pretty random. <laughs> so my grandfather had a really bad reaction to codeine. Yeah. Gave him hallucinations and he would flash back to World War II. Yeah. Um, yeah, my dad was having that problem. It was, be, it was like a mi between... Because they were trying to give him muscle relaxers for him to relax. <laughs> but then also he was having reactions with the anesthesia so like he was tripping like you wouldn't believe like he'd call us and be like what the ever living heck <laughs> like what so yeah he was kind of tripping balls for a while, for a couple of days and then they figured that out that it was the muscle relaxants and then he had some other issues and they had to he had to go back to the hospital so but now he's back in the rehab thing so we're hoping that he might come home in the next couple of days or so, depending on how well he does with his physical therapy. <sighs> it's uh, it's been a rough, like rough couple of weeks, really. So, yeah. So if this is your first time here, if you're new to my channel, I am Gina, aka Where the Advisor, and um. I am currently in Florida waiting for my Irish visa to come through and hopefully th hopefully that'll come soon um, but what I do on this channel is um, I'm, a, I'm also a writer and a witch and podcaster and all sorts of stuff and um, hey hi hi couscous couscous momo hi Hopefully I said that right. <laughs> and yes, I, I adore this keyboard. I highly recommend this keyboard. This is a can and then okay, hashtag not sponsored, but <laughs> um, I do if f especially for writers and computer programmers and stuff, I highly recommend this keyboard. This is the advantage to uh, Kinesis Advantage 2. There's a link in my about section for it. If you do a lot of heavy duty writing, if you do a lot of heavy duty anything that requires you typing. Um, it is very ergonomic. It's very comfortable. It took me about a week to really get used to. Um, and it comes in all sorts of keyboard flavors, uh, where it's, um, like I have the American keyboard. Um, there's also Dvorak and international keyboards and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, I've written over a million words on this keyboard and I do not have any signs of carpal tunnel at all so um if you if you write a lot if you type a lot i highly highly recommend this keyboard um okay the only advice i can give for helping someone who is starting out reality is just to be willing to let them talk it out yeah 
I had a friend who was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and when their meds weren't working completely right, they'd have to go over things and use logic to figure out what really happened versus what didn't. Yeah, my... <sighs> my dad isn't really... Like, he is a talker, because he's one of those people that can, like, talk to anybody and make friends with, like, a whole room in, like, five seconds. Just a sec, Kous -kous. Um, And he's not really a talker talker when it comes to emotions and stuff, but... Yeah, it's, uh, but he, he did kind of talk it out, and it, it was a complicated mess, but it ended up working out. So this mouse, oops, there we go. This is, um, one of the versions of a Voluent mouse. Um, there's also, uh, if you look at my About section, I actually have a link to both the keyboard and the mouse. Um, these, you know... I've tried switching to other ergonomic mouses, but this one's the best one. It's a, um... It goes like this. These are the best ones that I've ever used, and every time I try and switch to a different mouse, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I highly recommend those two. Hashtag, also hashtag not sponsored. And, um, yeah, you can go look in my about section. If you scroll down, um, I think it's in the nerdy stuff section. Um, there is a link to both products. And, um, yeah, I highly recommend them. Like, I don't, ha I rarely get mouse arm with this, with this. So, yep, I highly recommend. So, where was I? Um, yeah, so what we do on the stream is 20-minute Pomodoros, where we turn off my, where I turn off my mic and I turn up the music, and all the music is done by my wife, who is incredible. And um, if you want to listen to more of her music, you can go and check out her SoundCloud that I just posted in the chat. Um, and let's see. Um, I do turn my mic off during sprints to, like, at least feign concentration <laughs> um, to one degree or another. Uh, and, um, and then during the breaks, we take about five-minute breaks. Um, I do tarot readings, and I answer questions, and all that stuff. Um, and, oh, the headphones. Did I put those in the thing? Yeah, these are Sennheisers. My wife is a sound engineer. Well, we used to be a sound engineer. And she bought these for me. So, because she said... <laughs> well, and I agree, because sound is important. And, and you know what? Honestly, I don't care what anybody else tells you on this platform. You can have crappy video... You can have weird transitions, you can do whatever you want video-wise. But having a crappy mic and crappy sound is going to be the bane of your existence. <laughs> and I really highly recommend, like, because these days you can get halfway decent mics for not too much money. Now, granted, okay, my Sennheisers are very spendy, but my wife is good to me. <laughs> I am very lucky. So, you know, if you can get these, that's great. But they're a spendy. But there are versions of the headphones, there are versions of mics that you can get that aren't as spendy, but are halfway decent. So I highly recommend getting halfway decent microphones. And, you know, get one that actually, like, you know, don't get something that's, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna save up for any equipment for streaming, save up and get a good microphone that's my recommendation <laughs> so but yeah these headphones are sennheiser it's in my belt section sennheiser or something sennheiser uh, um i can't remember it's like Sennheiser H H E twenties. Let me let me double double check here. Ding 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 ding. I have to look at my own about section because I don't remember. Um. Da -dum, scroll scroll scroll. Okay, nerdy stuff. Da -da -da -dum -dum. So I'm using Logitech stream cams and yeah Sennheiser H M E twenty seven. And there's a link for it in my about section too. So. All this, all of my equipment, pretty much, if I have links for it, they are in my about section, or at least mentioned in my about section, so feel free to go scroll down. It's probably after the acknowledgements. 
thing on. Or at least it is on my screen, but it could be different on yours. Because, uh... Because <laughs> all screens are different. <laughs> Although my <laughs> my wife was, um... Has been setting up her office in our house in Ireland. And, um... She got this really cool 32-inch screen that's curved. And she really likes it. Because she, it, it, she says it, like, it really feels nice because it's... Because you can kind of see everything with the curve. I was like, that's really cool. She's also set up her 42-inch monitor on her other computer. She's <laughs> My wife's a PhD computer scientist. So, um... <sighs> Let me know if my voice is too loud. I'm, 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 I keep worrying that it gets into the red a bit, so... Um, so yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> So, and she's been setting up her office, and I'm kind of jealous of her really big monitors. I use Blue Yeti. I think I think it's a Nano. Yeah, Blue Yeti's pretty good. I got it when it was on sale. So far, the only issue I have is that Linux gets annoyed and keeps trying to set the default output to the headphone jack on the microphone <laughs> instead of the speaker. Yeah. Um, yeah, and Blue Yetis are decent. They're decent mics. So, yeah. That works. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was I? Okay, so I told it that we told you guys that we do twenty minute sprints, uh, with five minutes breaks. Turn off. I turn off the mic during sprints, and then during the breaks, I do tarot readings, and I answer questions, and all that stuff. And you can ask me anything about writing, crocheting, fiber arts, witchy stuff, spiritual stuff, all that stuff. Um. And closed captions are available for the stream. You just need to turn them on, um, either in your window or in your device. Um, and also, if you, this stream is also for body doubling. So if you just need somebody to be kind of virtually in the room with you, um, you can just go ahead and lurk away and have me on in the background and listen to the great music and all that stuff because lurking is fine. Lurkers are love, and I love my lurkers. And let's see. Normally on Fridays. I do a podcast reading, but I've run out of stuff to read to you. <laughs> so right now I'm reading, um, I'm doing uh, Gina's Bedtime Stories at 9.30 p.m. on Fridays. It's now at 9.30 p.m. on Fridays because of um, I'm changing my streaming times. And I'm reading Alice in Wonderland, so. That reminds me, did I post the picture of Bishi's sweater to your server? No, you did not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't remember seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember seeing it. So feel free to uh, post away. Alright, so why don't we go ahead and get started? Because, um, give me a moment and I will share it. I'm really proud of how it looks. Alright, great! I will check it out as soon as you post it. But right now, we're going to go ahead and start the first Pomodoro of the night. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to um, turn off my mic, turn up the music, and turn on the timer. So let's get to it. We give up our health. The sixth gate. We give up our happiness. The seventh gate. We give up life itself. We give up life itself and enter 
the domain of Ereshkigal.
Hello, Caruso. Welcome on in. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing, like I said in there. And, uh, now we're in the break time, so um, during the breaks, I answer questions because I'm a writer. I'm also a fiber artist. I'm a pen fountain pen enthusiast. Um, and I do crocheting and fiber arts as well, so um, I do answer questions about that. But I also do tarot readings because I'm a witch, so there's that. So... Yes, I am. I, I definitely am. So yeah, I do tarot readings during the breaks as well. So that's what we do. All right. Um, is it Gunned or Gund? I'd like to know something about my life. Sure. What's tarot? T a r o t. Tarot. Gund. Okay. I see. Well, yeah, I do uh, tarot readings. T A R T A R O T. So, Kursu, I could do a three card reading to you. That's what I usually do. Um, you can also claim them in the um, channel points as well. <coughs> I don't. So, okay. I'm going to explain this because. Um, Okay, we're not gonna we're gonna we're gonna deny that one because you've already asked that question, Kurosu. Uh Tarot, I'll sh I'll show you. Let me let me get out of one of my decks here. Here we get out the we'll get out. Uh, let's do the Christmas one. I'm feeling the Christmas one today. Okay. So Tarot, T A R O T, Tarot, as in divination. And I have several decks, actually. I have some Star Trek ones, and but um, so l l let me explain how I do tarot. So when I do tarot, I I may get inklings of something that may be coming for you, but I don't actually. Oh, let me turn down the music a bit. No, you don't, it doesn't even be that loud. There we go. I don't actually tell the future because the future is pretty nebulous. Right? So, you know, if I told you something, if you're going to be that way, uh, uh, Amen, I am not going to do a tarot reading for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's one of those days, is it? Okay. <sighs> you don't need to give me any information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle the cards. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't tell exact futures because the future is very nebulous. So like basically the what it is is the tarot cards will tell you will probably give you a different expected uh bleh, a different perspective on what you already know. So sure, I can do other I can do other people afterwards. But um yeah, so it's it's not gonna be exact, like so. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle the cards, then I'm gonna put it in three piles and Kurosu, since you're going first, you will pick which pile that I start reading from, and then I will read three cards for you. But if anybody does get shirty, you know, we will not do this, okay? So, 
And then I've given them a good shuffle. I'm going to split them into three piles. And Cursey, you're going to tell me left, right, or center. So we've got Strength, the Krampus, this is a Christmas deck by the way, and Queen of Good Cheer. <coughs> so we've got Strength, Krampus, just kind of like the devil. And Queen of Good Cheer, so the Queen of Cups. Excuse me. All right. Hmm. Um. Hmm. I mean, you have the Krampus, which is the devil. <laughs> no. Um, which is, you know, you've you've been going through some stuff, right? Um, you know, and I'm not seeing, like, it's not, not necessarily bad, but it's, it's just a lot of things happening all at once. Yeah. But you know you've been you've been strong you, you know you have strength here so you've been strong enough to get through it. Um, you have the queen of good cheer here, but I don't feel like she's in your life anymore. This person. Um, usually the queens and kings and knights things are usually are, are can sometimes be people. Um, so this, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, you you've had enough strength to get through it, but you know, this person's not in your life anymore and it's not like it's not like you're it's not like you don't have the strength to get through it, but it's also been a lot of the little things cuz like I'm 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 getting I'm getting from here from here from the Krampus here that it wasn't necessarily like one big thing. Yeah, it was just like a bunch of little things that happened to make this person not be in your life anymore. So, um, but you you'll get through. You know you you know you have the strength to get through. So, you know you're okay. You're you're still dealing with this stuff, but you're okay. You you'll get through. So, that's good. So. Like I said, most of the time when I do tarot readings, it kind of, I'm not, this, this is about you really. So I'm not really seeing like, this is more of just like where you are right now. Um, but I think with the strength that you have, it will eventually happen. It's just, you know, right now you're just kind of getting, yeah, I think. The way I'm, the feeling I'm getting from this is right now, you're just kind of getting through the, 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 you're getting through this breakup is what it is. You know, you're getting through this and, you know, sometimes it's good to spend time to, you know, figure out who you are and what you want and who exactly you want, you know? So, well, <laughs> well, I'm glad you got something out of this, so. Now, so <laughs> we're, we're not we're not going to go there, <laughs> but uh, OK, so it was Stowe and then Gund, right? Is that how it's going or did I get I know Gun did the reward request, so. So, OK. 
Let me just... I gotta shuffle again, so... Let's see. Alright, so let's go with Stowe, and then we'll get gunned. Sure. So, Stow, like I did for Kurosu, you're gonna I'm gonna split the deck and you can tell me left, right, or center. of candy candles Krampus again and page of gifts all right let me show you them so that's ace of candles Krampus and page of gifts so mm. So the thing about aces here, <laughs> no, it this will be different for everybody. So like what he got for Krampus, what they got for Krampus is not going to be what you get for Krampus. So let's, we'll, we'll, we'll go through and see what it says. Huh? So the ace of candles is a lot of the power. So this is, this is wands and fire. So, um, it, it, um, aces are usually the base power of a thing so um this is like the basic journey so this is just your life journey in general and that you have your own personal power you know who you more or less know who you are um so you kind of know the direction your life is going now the page of gifts is you have um, it, how do I put this? You have a lot of things coming into your life that is new. So there are a lot of things you are just starting that you have the knowledge and the experience to make bring to fruition it's just that everything's relatively new and then you also have the Krampus <laughs> maybe um, but you also have the Krampus too so the thing with Krampus is that with the devil there's a lot of things that could be come in your way so there are some things probably right now or that may come um, that will get in your way um, I don't think it's necessarily that. I think it's more of just, um, you know, <laughs> those things in life that, you know, like something happens with a relative or something happens with somebody you know, or, you know, something's late or, uh, yeah, I, you know. thinking of that in that scope it's thinking of it in that scope about you being queer
give yourself some slack. Okay. This is new. And I'm feeling that this is a big revelation already for you. And this is a new journey for you. Give yourself some slack. Now, it's going to be hard. I mean, you have Krampus here. So this is not an easy journey. Trust me, I know. I'm queer, too. But, you know, with your sense of self and with your gifts and your knowledge and, and your ability to I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that you have a good ability to figure out the best things for yourself and for to try you like you will eventually like even when you're struggling you're eventually going to figure out how to work things out for yourself because you have that light and you have that power in yourself you know you will eventually figure out what to do yeah you have you have your brain and your brain is working and so you need to let your brain work like i said you're still going to have all the crap that goes along with this stuff but you'll figure it out you'll you'll find your way to getting there so i i have faith that you will and you know you i feel that you have power especially with this ace with this ace of candles you know you have a light you have a power you have a mind you'll figure you'll figure it out somehow so you'll get there i know it's rough but you'll get there okay <laughs> you're welcome you're welcome glad it helped all right i'm gonna shuffle now and then we'll do gunned if he's if you're still here hopefully So I'm gonna shuffle these for you, Gund, and then you'll, and then I'll do the same thing where I split the deck and stuff. So hang on a sec. Wearing the the uh, twitch today, is that it? Right, one more, and then I will um, split them. Hang on a sec. Okay. All right. So. Left, right, or center gun. And uh, left. Okay. All right. So let's see. Page of candles. Page of canes. And the hanged man. Uh, hey, 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 and everybody makes their own choice when it comes to this. So, so we have the page of candles. And then we have the page of canes. And then you also have the hanged man. All right, so that's mm, not really. Um, so, so you have the two page. <laughs> no, no, PG thirteen, please. Thank you. So you have the two pages here, and these are beginnings, right? So you have the child who's lighting the candles for Christmas. Uh, Gund, I'm uh, about ready to ban you here, my friend. 
You might all get banned, actually, if you continue this way. Like I said, PG-13. Thank you. Okay, folks. We're done. Thank you, Gingy. Might as well ban them all. All three of them. That's enough of that. I think there was a spam too. That can go. <laughs> yeah. So for anybody else watching, <laughs> we do not deal kindly with, we do not put up with uh, that kind of crap. Good use of the band hammer, my friend. And, uh... Oh, we got this Nate dude, too. I'll get that. Ah, that was interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. For anybody who's watching that hasn't figured it out, we do not put up with that kind of stuff. Even if... I mean, we've gotten kind of this, like, tarot... Tarot, uh raids before kind of thing but yeah once once they start getting doing that kind of crap mm, yeah we try to keep it pg-13 as much as possible <laughs> so <sighs> so yeah uh, let's see Spam. There we go. There. Boom. Boom, Shagalaga. There. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I don't mind if people, like, when, when some of these people come in and kind of be spammy around um, my tarot stuff. Because, you know, sometimes it comes out where I do a tarot reading for them and they're kind of like, uh, uh, mm, oh. <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't mind. But, yeah, when they get squirrely like that, that's when it's time to go. All right, what time is it? It is nine. Okay, so um, yeah, why don't I go ahead and uh, set the timer back on. Uh, we'll decompress a little bit. Thank you to uh, Fred Allen for wielding the band hammer. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, as you also noticed, I didn't let them choose a, de a deck either, so <laughs> they got the deck that I wanted to give them. And so, if you're nice, you get to choose your deck. If you're not nice, well, <laughs> you don't get to choose. Ah, uh, they sigh. Ah. <sighs> so weird it's like you go through a whole bunch of streams without uh, spam without uh, trolls and stuff and then suddenly like bam oh well anyway now that that's over 
Uh, thank you, everybody who put up with that. I appreciate you for hanging out and hanging in. Uh, I gotta see if I have enough ink in my pen. <laughs> I do. Uh, I still got. Yeah, I still got enough ink in my pen for now. Probably have to put in a new cartridge soon, but that's okay. <sighs> oh, and if you're wondering what this paper is, this is actually washi paper. This I, this is new paper that I got, and I'm really excited. It's actually quite nice to write on. I'm kind of surprised. So I may have to get some more of that when I get home. It's kind of in the same, it has a little more texture than the old Tomoe River paper, but it's still that nice light paper that, that handles ink well, so. <sighs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, washi paper is Japanese paper. Um, it's very thin and light, but you can also get tape made out of it, and it usually has really pretty designs on it and stuff. Um, there's a bunch that's handmade from Japan. Um, let me really pause the timer. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch in Japan that you can get that's handmade, but they also make it into like, it's um, like if you go to jetpens.com, which is where I usually get a lot of my Japanese <laughs> pen stuff, um, they have a whole bunch of different types of washi papers and washi tapes. And you know that tape that people have, like they've used for journals and stuff? That's washi tape. Same paper, it's just really thin and light. And then it's just sticky. <laughs> um, but washi paper is basically the same paper, just without the sticky. So. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's very, like, I don't, yeah, you really can't tell here, but it's really thin. Like, it's very see through. I don't know if, yeah. You can kind of tell. Um, there is a subtle design on this paper that you can't, like, it's hard, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see, like, yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but, like, it has a pink design with petals. It's really pretty, although it, like, the light I have kind of washes it out, which is unfortunate, but, um, but yeah, it's like enough see-through enough where you know you could you need to a guide underneath that kind of thing. So yeah, um, yeah, I usually get my my Japanese paper products and stuff from uh, JetPens.com. So they have a bunch of it, and they probably have a better explanation about washi paper. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really nice because it's textured, it has a little more texture. Because Tomoe River was a lot the similar to washi paper in the sense that it was really light and thin. Um, but um, Tomoe River had a coating on it, so it the way it was coated as a paper um, made it special for fountain pen inks. But washi paper, I'm, I'm finding, is pretty similar. It has a little more, it absorbs a little more than the Tomoe River paper. But it works really well. It's really nice. So yeah. Okay. Let's get to it, shall we?
Hello, everybody. Ah, it is break time. Time to stretch a little bit, relax, all that stuff. And I need to stretch my arm because uh, it's been busy reporting people. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed, actually, because I just reported those three yahoos that were on earlier. And uh, Twitch... Uh, actually did something about it so i'm just like wow holy moly <laughs> so uh yeah i am i'm quite s surprised about twitch's moderation and how it actually like works most of the time i'm i think i've only i think i've most of the people that i've reported have gotten some sort of reprimand what reprimand they got, I don't know, but <laughs> but yeah, it's better than Facebook's anyway, <laughs> where Facebook basically does nothing <laughs> and uses right wing extremist sites to validate and their data. Oh, Lisa. I <sighs> well, right wing sources to fact check things. It's just like, come on, Facebook, really. Ah, oh, Lisa. I but Twitch does all right. <sighs> oh, really tired today. Yesterday was a rough day. Um, my dad had a rough day at the place where he's at, and, uh, uh, yeah, in fact, I have to talk to my niece after on stream, so, uh, after stream, I need to go talk to my niece, so, whew, Lisa, I, but, you know, but I'm writing my letter, so writing my letter's good. I'm currently making the horns for the dragon and despising magic rings with too few single crochet, <laughs> You know, I like the idea of the magic ring, but I can never, it, it, yesterday he was fine, today, uh, yesterday was rough, today he was much better, tomorrow should be better too, so, um, you know, I really detest magic rings now, <laughs> and I, but I kind of do a hybrid magic ring these days. So if it calls for just a magic ring and no, you know, and doesn't have an alternate word, like you do so many, uh, chains, 
Um, usually what I do is I will chain seven or eight chains and do the slip stitch and everything. But then I will um, crochet over the tail. So I'll leave a long tail like you do for a magic ring. And I'll crochet over that. And you, then you can use that like a magic ring and it does the same thing. But at least I know the the circle won't like go all over the place. <laughs> Basically, like the magic ring is just a fancy slip knot, like a, f a loosey loose slip knot. But it, I ha I always have a hard time dealing with them. So, like I said, I gave up and I do this hybrid thing now. <laughs> but it works. So hey. <laughs> so, all right. So we're gonna do this next pomodoro. I don't mind them in there. Six or more stitches in that first round. The ones that drive me nuts are the ones with four or less. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, when I do that, I'll do like uh, a five chain circle, but I'll do the same thing. So, but I'll do the same thing with the tail and it still works. But yeah, it just seems like kind of weird, especially when you have that, you're not using a lot of chains in the circle. Like... Yeah. Because then it, like, it flops. It flops around. And, like, opens up when you don't want it to open up. And <sighs> Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Okay. So, all right. Let me pause real quick. So, um, yeah, we're going to do this last Pomodoro. And then we'll probably call it a night because I need to talk to my niece. So, um, yeah. So, let's get to this last Pomodoro. And then we'll call it a night. Yeah, we could do that. Sure. Let me just uh, move my letter here. Doopy doop. All right. Move. Let's move. Uh, which deck would you like? You get to choose because you're a nice person. Star Trek. Okay. I'll just pick up the first Star Trek deck I can get. <laughs> I think this is the... Uh, I don't remember which deck this one is. <laughs> oh, this is the um, TNG deck. Do I have all the cards? Yes. Oakley Oakley. Turn down the music a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, same. I haven't used this one quite as much, but that's okay. It'll be good. Left, right, or center. <laughs> Excuse me for burping. Okay. Hmm. Starships, 
some other ships. In the tower. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking, considering what you've told me, <laughs> um, this is somewhat about you and your fiance. Um, and, you know, uh, so you have, here, I'll show you, Queen of Starships. And she just recently passed away, which is sad. Um, <laughs> then the Seven of Ships. And the tower. So yeah, it, given what you've already explained, this is kind of, this is basically telling you what you already know and that this is gonna be massive. This is gonna be a massive change. And um, it's for your fiance especially, but it'll just be a massive change in general. And you, ha you have the Seven of Cups, so there's going to be a lot of emotions involved, too. And I'm pretty sure you know that intellectually. But there's also, I mean, I don't sense it as, like, things are going to explode, even though the tower can do that, it can be that. I don't sense it as that. I sense it as more of, you know, you have the tower here and the tower is Hugh from you know from the Borg where it's a major personality it's a major not personality per se but just like a life just a major transition in the body and mind just because of the nature of what's going on so I'm not getting like I said I'm not getting anything bad it's just gonna be emotionally it's going to be a lot for a while. So my caution is that there might be some emotions that come out around this because you've got the seven of cups here. There's g there might be some emotions that come out that aren't necessarily a reflection of you or even your relationship with her, uh, with them. Um, it's just surgery and the healing process and all of that is rough. It's hard. So it's more of, I think this is more of a, hey, there's going to be stuff that comes up, but it's not your fault and it's not a reflection on you. It's just a lot for them. So I think I think the big thing would he take from this is to take it easy on yourself when you go. Um yeah. Cuz surgery in general is a lot and it's very emotional b b you know between the anesthesia and just the trauma on the body and because like people don't really seem to remember a lot <laughs> that um, surgery is a traumatic experience on the body <laughs> and while it's a good thing it does live like that experience lives in your body yeah exactly exactly you know cuz you know she's gonna have she's gonna have stuff coming up just from surgery itself and it's a lot. It's, it's, you know. So. I don't, like I said, I don't sense anything like going like explody bad. I'm just saying, uh, sensing that there's just going to be a lot and it's a big metamorphosis. So it's, stuff's going to come up. So don't blame yourself for it. <laughs> just know that it's going to be a lot of stuff coming so, but I think you'll be okay. Like, I don't sense, like I said, I don't sense it being in the bad sense. It's just like a lot sense. 
just f from the nature of of surgery and things like that. So, and I totally get that. <laughs> I totally get that too. All right. You're welcome anytime. Yay. And I got to use that deck. Hooray. All right. So now we'll do this last Pomodoro, and yeah, and we'll call it a night. So let's, let me turn this back on and mute my mic and all that stuff.
Alrighty, folks. Um, oops, I'm gonna stop that since uh, we're not taking a break. We are ending stream. So, yeah, so, well, we had some interesting trolls, but it wasn't a bad stream overall, right? So, I'm glad to have y'all here. Thank you, Clockwalker, for stopping by. And I see some lurkers stopping by. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Fred Allen, for moderation and awesomeness. And, um, yeah, so I will be back here on Wednesday. And just to remind you that I'm now going to be starting stream at 8 p.m. Um, it's just going to be easier all the way around <laughs> to start stream at 8 p.m. So, um, yeah, I will see you back here on Wednesday at 8 p.m. And we'll uh, do some more stuff. I got, I've got more pen pal letters to write and got some crocheting to do and all that stuff. So, anyway, I will see you all Wednesday. Have a great rest of your evening, and we'll talk to you then.